I have a bunch of gossip I've been dying to do, but I've been so busy this weekend. Ah, my shows took an extra long time. Um, okay, let's talk about Alexia Nipola and Todd Nipola's divorce just announced. I knew that the blind that was flying around was about her. We had had a whole conversation about it in the Patreon chat, and she was my guest. So I'm really happy that I was right. I mean, not for her really, but like in terms of solving the blind is always fun. All right, so let's talk about what happened. Here you go. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> By the way, Patreon Sarah, big guess. Saw on Twitter, thoughts, huge blind item. This is not an April Fool's joke. Looks like Bravo divorce is coming. Let's just say yesterday she served him creamed corn and tomorrow she is serving him papers. This one will be a big shock and will take a bit to hit the press. It's a sad one for sure. April 1st, 1.32 p.m. So although this blind says a woman is going to be the one to instigate the divorce, I really thought that this was about... Todd, Napola, and Alexia, because I was like, they've been having trouble for a while, and his personality is such that he's not going to stay in a relationship that isn't working for him. It's pretty obvious it was falling apart. Now, you know as well as I do, there's an advantage to filing for divorce first. So I think Todd probably sensed or maybe got wind that she was planning on filing and then beat her to it. And oddly, a lot of people guessed Candace Bassett, I guess because of all the cheating allegations that came up in Potomac. But by the way, she just announced that she's pregnant with her first baby. And of course, Chris is the dad. And so they're having, they don't know the sex yet, but it's happening uh, soon. I think she's 13 weeks pregnant. So congratulations to Candace. And of course, she's not coming back to Real Housewives of Potomac next season. So she'll have a time out. I have my theory as to why that's happening, by the way, that she's having a time out. Um, anyway, uh, it is on my bonus audio that's coming out tomorrow. And so whoever posted that blind had some inside information. Now, the patrons and I went back and forth on who we thought it was, and I had actually voted for Alexis because Todd and her relationship were definitely on the rocks ever since they got married. Todd is not used to being on a reality show. It's very intrusive. It's all about the housewife and your whole life revolves around the show. It's all most of the women ever talk about. And for someone who's a big businessman who makes a lot of money and, you know, is is trying to brand himself in a, a serious way with, you know, commercial real estate and is from a, a long real estate family going all the way back to New York, it would be very difficult to have this be always in your relationship, the show, the show, the show, and some of the stupider aspects of it. So I imagine he struggled with this. And having it always be about Cuban Barbie must be tough too. So in case you were wondering, it was Todd that filed against Alexia. He said the marriage was irretrievably broken. So I'm assuming that they must have had a really explosive fight, which probably uh, triggered you know, this really strong response by him. Um, anyway, he filed this on April 11th. He also mentions that there is a prenup. They also signed a prenuptial agreement, and that was signed six days before their wedding on December 10, 2021. No one knows what is in that. I'm assuming that it probably has, uh, you know, a payout that's reasonable, but not too much. And that's it. Of course, I feel terrible for Alexia because I know she wants to offer her son stability. And unfortunately, she finds herself in an unstable situation again. I really hope that Todd, although he doesn't have to, will help Alexia just stabilize her son who has a disability at a minimum, as well as give her a you know, a payout that she's not hugely damaged by the breakup of this relationship, which he's been in for a few years, even though they haven't been married that long. And it also explains why besides the math, 
Todd didn't buy a property for Alexia and him to live in because I guess he probably was kind of questioning things maybe as far back as like a year ago or maybe even a little beyond that and wasn't sure he wanted to get even deeper in intermingled into assets, et cetera. He's not a dummy. Um, so that's what I think. This will be good for Alexia, though, in a way, because she will get a guaranteed storyline that everyone is going to be really interested in. And it's sad that she has yet another failed marriage. What can I tell you? Miami is really hard to find a man that is going to stick through thick and thin. I don't know why. You guys could probably comment below on why you think that is. I have my opinions. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, hopefully better luck next time, Alexia and Todd. Definitely don't date any more reality stars. It's not for you. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.